So what you're looking at is a Qualcomm mirror cell display. This is a 5.7 inch display. It is slated to be in the consumer marketplace uh, with the partner in fall 2010. The reason why you would be interested in a display such as this is that it uses interference, or nature-based light to create color. That's very different than how uh, traditional display technologies create their color. And the essence of that is it creates uh, low power, super low power, provides low power. So it does require power to maintain the image? It, yes, and that's it. Just uh, like uh, there's other reflective technologies that use device stability to freeze that image, very little low, uh, very little amount of power to uh, maintain that It does that have image. a very paper-like, you know, heat ink-like look at it when you're doing it right. in color scheme. Yeah, and in that text, it, it, it does. Uh, but the, um, the uh, color, again, is nature-based, so it, ha it is a different aesthetic than a liquid crystal sure. display. We definitely don't try and mimic that, but say, hey, if you can design it a little bit smarter uh, and uh, nature-based, you can get some inherent fundamental uh, benefits from that, and of course, that is sunlight viewable. You take it outside, more light, the crisper the image. Is this particular one backlit right now or not? No, and that's so, the beautiful part, right? You do not need a backlight. Right, right? so this is pretty easy to read. It's, it's obviously, you know, the color saturation is lower than you would see on a, a brightly lit TFT, but right. it's very, very viewable, very, very readable, and if there's no backlight going on, you can tell that there's a lot of power right. settings going yeah, on. Right, yeah, absolutely. And the uh, ambient light is what's actually uh, creating that. So there's no light. Uh, there are solutions where you could actually have a front light on here if you wanted additional right. illumination and for a dark environment. So it's very flexible. Uh, we uh, have uh, illustrated touch capability as well. This particular demo does not have it. But everything that you would expect from a display, um, we can, the majority of that, that we can handle. So. How thin is the actual display layer in the uh, substrate in the, in the uh, electronics? So it, it is glass and it is a standard sizing. That's not to say that it couldn't be thinner for a certain application. You could use glass thinning techniques and so forth. But in terms of comparing it, you know, in its yeah. normal state, it's about the same it's as a it's comparable. LCD. It's comparable. But you, where you're going to get your thinness is that you can use a different battery. If you could use 250 milliamp battery over 850 milliamp battery, right, sure. that thins the device down. And that bill, And bill reduces weight as well. Right. Weight, uh, weight, bill of materials, there's an economic or a, a environmental impact, you know, less battery um, in the landfill, so forth. This is also 94% less carbon output than a liquid crystal display based on uh, 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 quite a few different factors. Uh, you mentioned that the frame rate on this is about 20, but it's, it's, it's not been opti optimized. This is not optimized, and this is not, uh, a, a, it's indicative of what you're going to see in the fall, but as a demonstration unit, you know, you'll just have to bear with us. The purpose is to show color, and it's to show that you can right. support. You can see it is coming from the light. You can see that the right. shadow from my right. finger yep. and how, how it affects it. It's not backlit. Right. And the color will not fade. This is not a pigmented color. It's structural color. Uh, color in nature does not fade. This will not fade over time like right. pigments and inks and dyes that we experience as normal color. And when can we expect to see this on uh, retail shelves? We are uh, targeting fall 2010.